directionally challenged hiker here at Little House in the Desert. Um, we headed over here this Friday, August 19th morning because we are still having some cooler temperatures in Arizona and where we are at in town right now, we've had like about three quarters of an inch of rain over the past couple days, which is that's quite a bit of rain for Arizona. Um, it is monsoon season still, but and we've been having a fairly active one. But we got out here today and we were very disappointed as it doesn't appear that they have had much of anything out here in the past couple days. And we were hoping we were hoping that stuff would be a little bit wet, damp, whatever, because we'd really like to be working on this. In order to get the boards off, we have to do some unbolting and that requires getting like down in there, but there's lots of nasty old insulation and stuff like that. So we need to get that. We we're going to try to rake it out. So I'm not sure if we're going to do that again. We were hoping that it would be, it would have been like wet because then it won't stir up dust. So I don't know. We're thinking of what to do. We're supposed to have more rain come in this afternoon and then cooler temperatures over the rest of the weekend and through early next week. And when I say cooler, I'm talking like mid 90s, but some cloud cover, which that is really huge down here when you're working outside. The humidity is up though. Um, so I don't know, 105, no humidity or 95 and humidity trying to decide what is what is better so i'm gonna shut this down for now and figure out what we're doing today all right so obviously still friday um august 19th and i am in the upstairs and i'm gonna have some fun with this uh pink cotton candy here this is not faced, so I'm going to be improvising, trying to make it stay up in the rafters. And I had this brilliant idea. For some strange reason, I have a whole ton of this like uh, hemming lace. So I'm gonna try to employ that and see if it works. I will let you know. Probably gonna set this up on time lapse and hopefully I get some okay footage up here. It is not, it's not the brightest up here. And I think I'm gonna actually go to the front half so I don't have to stand on something. So, put me on time lapse. See how this goes. Well, this footage here isn't as horrifying as I thought it was. Um, I really thought it looked like I was wrestling with this um, pink itchy insulation a lot more than it is showing in this time lapse here but um, I definitely definitely prefer faced insulation and the bats are a little bit more easier to work with I mean I'm trying to cut this stuff with scissors I hate cutting it with scissors and I know you have to cut the stuff that's in bats but you at least have some pieces that kind of fit you're not just trimming it all up and I will say the um, the hemming lace, it it worked really well. And as it is February second already, and this footage was done in August, the insulation is still hanging, and that hemming lace is still holding. So, hey, if you have to improvise and be creative, I would recommend hemming lace to hang some non-faced insulation. Um, but yeah, don't judge me too harshly on my attire. It was it was hot up there. Um, and I guess I would rather be a little bit itchy than feeling like I'm bacon in long sleeves and pants. Um, and then in the past, it just washes off. So, yeah. Well, that is it on the insulation. I do not even know if I will use this footage here. 
yeah, I took the mask off. I just, I am sweating like crazy. And, um, that unfaced rolled stuff, I don't know. Rolls, I think I prefer it in the little, like, you know, bats, I guess you call them. But anyway, I am done for now. I am crawling down from here. It is hot up here compared to below and outside later. Now that I've hung some insulation, I am going to do some insulation removal amongst other things that are hiding um, below the floor joists of this manufactured home. Um, yeah, nasty work here. Um, at least the pink itchy stuff in the upstairs of Little House in the Desert was clean. Um, this stuff is this stuff is just disgusting. Um, I'm trying to toss it out carefully, not to like stir it up a whole lot. Again, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned we'd we'd had some rain where we're currently living, and we were kind of hoping that there'd been some rain out there because when things get wet, it kind of keeps the dust down. And yeah, didn't happen. But yeah, I'm playing tug of war with some duct work there. Oh, gosh, that stuff was heavy. I think it had dirt and whatnot in it. I'm not even sure if it was duct work that had been like current. It might have just been, you know, stranded under the manufactured home at some point. And yeah, but Never Ending Project is back um, helping me here now, trying to figure out exactly how we are going to get this, this apart. Amazingly, like this was pretty difficult pretty sturdy in points. I mean, some of the match some of the manufactured home was like, wow, how is it still standing? And then there's other things that you are trying to deal with and tear apart. And you're like, ugh, could it have not, you know, been a little bit more, uh, you know, decayed, um, whatever. I mean, I guess we felt that when we bought our first home in Arizona, and, you know, we're gutting a partially burnt, you know, 1950s built block home in our first summer down here. And we got to that point where we're like, oh, gosh, it could have burned a little bit longer and, you know, stuff would have come apart a little bit easier. So this is definitely a piece of work here. Um, again, we're having some beautiful weather for August, but it's humid and it's still hot. Never ending project is getting ready to get rid of those steps that would have been to the front door of the manufactured home. Um, we busted them up a little bit at this point, but they're heavy. I mean, they were mostly blocked with bricks and cement mixed in there. So the pieces that didn't break up, yeah, didn't want to move. He's gonna, he's gonna drop those over the end of our dumpster. I think this is dumpster number four at this point. Yeah, we had dumpster number four for a really, really long time. Summer just kind of, um, yeah, summer just kind of beat us up. We got out of the habit of coming out here and working and yeah, lots of excuses. Heat, rain, life. Here we go. He should be coming over the edge in just a second. And it's gonna make a pretty cool noise. There's that duct work that I probably he hauled in there. I don't think I could actually move it. But there we go. Get ready for that drop. Tractors are amazing tools. I mean, some of this work, oh my gosh, it's February now. We would still be having at in this manufactured home down at this point. Well, I actually have an easy job at this point. Just taking some video as he is trying to see if he can kind of lift that up and loosen it up with the tractor. And as you probably saw, the back tires lifted up. So 
Yeah, there we go. We've got a little bit of lift there. Loosen up. Uh, yeah. Tractor's not going to do it. Uh, there's more. There's bolts to be undone. Cuts to make. Nothing's easy. I mean, demo demo is fun at times, and then there's other times that it's work. But I guess anything in life that is of value is is work. It never comes. Uh, okay, maybe there's that value in this debris. But when all is said and done, we will have, you know. A nice, a nice area on our land. It'll be cleaned up. It won't be, won't be a falling down manufactured home anymore. It'll be a, an area where I can have some chickens or who knows. He has resorted to sledgehammering some more of that step area. I mean, you can see the big block there. Yeah, they really, nothing fancy, but I guess the stairs to the front door were pretty dang solid in this manufactured home. Um, but yeah, working hard and the views are beautiful um, in this footage and I spent a few hours out there yesterday doing some work and um, we had some clouds after, we had a foggy morning. which. I will talk about in that video. I mean, fog, foggy mornings in Arizona are kind of a rarity. They're kind of cool. Not so much fun to drive in, but yeah. And then I had clouds and a breeze. There's probably a little breeze today. I'm looking at that tree moving over there. And yeah, we have like, I think it's four eucalyptus trees. I'd have to actually look again, but there's definitely one to the left, and then we have a few over to the right, you know, outside of this footage. Um, kind of cool. Not something I would have thought to have planted, but they are there, and I guess they're fairly desert heat hardy. So, I mean, score, man. They're, you know, fairly mature trees, and they're, they're ready for life in the desert. I mean, I'm hoping to do some more planting in the future, trying to look at stuff that we can eat, and then also stuff that will do well in the desert. And things that aren't so pokey. I mean, natural desert vegetation sometimes, natural desert vegetation sometimes is evil, and I'm really having trouble spitting that one out. Finishing up for the day here, just, you know, Tossing into the dumpster some of the things that we have loosened up. Um, I'm wanting to say we are both more than ready to head back to our son's place and get ourselves cleaned up. Um, I definitely am. I'm a little bit itchy and sweaty and the shower is going to feel amazing. So until next time, Directionally Challenged Hiker.